Ripple's Licensed Cafe, and Chef Graham is waiting for us, so let's go say hello. <laughs> Thank you. Well, here we are with Executive Chef Graham Terry on our 90 Days Down Under Tour, and he's kindly allowed us into his kitchen. He's going to show us how to make some really terrific, really local, really delicious stuff. So, welcome, Chef Graham. Thank you for having us. I can't wait to get cooking with you. Oh, thank you very much, and thank you for coming. Well, what are we going to make today? Tell me everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but tell me everything. Not everything. We could be here for a lot longer. <laughs> uh, today we're going to showcase the beautiful Tweed region and some of the product that we uh, have available in our, in our restaurant, and uh, which should show the character of most of the dishes that are on our menu. So we're going to start with some beautiful Cape Byron beef. We have a rump cut here that we're going to show you and uh, how we go through our process of um, marination and simply cooking it and uh, emphasis on presentation in so, ripples. So Cape Byron, that's what, just about 30 miles down? 20 minutes, minutes, 20 minutes from here, yep. All farmed locally in uh, the Byron Bay hinterland and uh, MSA graded, which is Meat Standards Australia, so guaranteed tender. Guaranteed tender. Guaranteed tender. Tender, love that. <laughs> so firstly, uh, what we do is we portion cut all our own beef here. That way we have the full integrity of the product and we, uh, we know that it's uh, Cape Byron beef. Uh, we have a process of sous vide in our kitchen, so a lot of the uh, marination is done under vacuum, and that allows us to uh, control all the flavours before the cookery begins. We're going to offset this with a uh, zucchini frittata, nice. a little uh, potato tartin, and just some fresh glaze and some tuca bananas with tuca. What is this? This is courgette or green zucchini. So oh. just a large zucchini tends to give you a better effect. Really? Yep. And you call that a courgette? Courgette. Courgette? Courgette, Okay. Yep. The, um, the frittata itself is just in a basic dariol mold, heavily buttered, and then sheeted with phyllo pastry. Each, mm -hmm. each individual sheet Beautiful. is buttered. There. Now you can flavor that with different spices if mm -hmm. you want, but we want, the, we want the flavor of the courgette in there. So very, very simply, just a little bit of garlic butter. Mm. Now this is another one of the techniques we use at um, Ripples. We tend to flavor our conduits rather than add garlic and add butter. We, right. we add garlic butter, so it's, uh, it's a bit more cohesive. Just slowly. Everything like this is pretty well cooked to order. Small amount of very fine diced onion. So just slightly sweat the onion. You don't want it uh, too brown. You don't want it uh, too overcooked as well. Just slightly sweat it. And the garlic, low heat. You can see I have a low heat there. That's one of the methods at Ripples. We don't cook anything on a high heat. Uh, we have part of our cuisine is styled because of the method. So methods are very important to us here. Saute the zucchini. Or the courgette. Or the courgette, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've pre-made this. Now, this is very, very, very simple. You can add to this any flavoring, spices, herbs, uh, nuts, pistachios, pine nuts, mm -hmm. those sort of things, whatever you feel. It's basically a little quiche. So firstly, we don't, we don't want the frittata to be too much egg in there, so our filling is important that we don't pack it down. We just lightly let it sit there, and then we fill it up with the egg mix. Once we've uh, filled the sautéed zucchini into the mixture, we add a basic scrambled egg mix, as if you were going to make scrambled eggs at home. Eggs and cream to the ratio that you normally, normally have for a scrambled egg mix. Add that. Fill it all the way up to the top, 
and then we pop that in the oven while we prepare our beef. That'll be around about 12 minutes to cook. We don't want to overcook it, and that's just another little unique way we serve our vegetables. So that is, just have a look at this. Look at how simple, easy, and I'm betting delicious this is going to be. Great. I could make this in my RV kitchen easy. 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 So tell us what is Zucca and, and what's it all about? It's a simple blend of spices, nuts and seeds. And uh, there is traditional dukas, but you know we like to bend the rules a little bit. This one's a, a sweet one that we've done for the uh, for the bananas. Now, uh, you know we don't really use them on breads traditionally. We use it as a spray on the plate, and, and you'll see when we present them today. This is the potato tartan okay. that we made. Uh, I made these earlier because they they're quite a lengthy process. Very thinly sliced sabago potatoes, chicken stock, and butter. We have the um, frittata. These are really uh, easy to get out if you've put enough uh, uh, butter, butter in there. Yeah, you need you need butter. <laughs> butter. Okay, so that that should just stand alone. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, like a little like a little quiche. Beautiful. Yeah. So that'll just stand up there like. That. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. Oh. Good enough to eat, really. It is. And then we'll finish. We'll keep the steak till last because we don't want to. We don't want to plate that until it's been, until we're just about ready to go out for the customers. So here's our bananas. You can see yes, that yes. they're quite limp. So any more cookery in that banana would be too much. Okay. We'll serve them dukkha side up. Nice little. Uh, Nice little stack of um, on there. Wow. Look at that. Eh? Wow. Once again, you can see what I mean by the um, each little bit is different. Mm -hmm. Now we just we're going to dress this with a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar. And it's a, reduce this. This is uh, caramelised mm -hmm. balsamic reduction. Okay. That's uh, once again reduced gives it that nice sticky flavour there. Mm -hmm some black pepper. Now you could add some green on there, but I don't think that uh, our way of thinking is. If that's the dish, that's the dish. What do, you, what do you think? Welcome to the heart of Hastings Point. Mm, I think it's fabulous. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. Thank you very much for having us as a guest in your kitchen here at Ripples. My we pleasure. Loved it. My pleasure. Thank My you. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.